Good day everyone, welcome to On The Bench. Today on the bench I'm going to show you uh, how to tie up a nice little fly searching pattern uh, called the Guarantee. A fly that Wayne Redding from Calgary showed me many years ago. I've been fishing it and tying it for a number of years. It's a cute little fly here, works very well and where are the materials we need to tie the fly? I'm going to use a 1760 size 10 uh, Daiichi. It's got a bit of a curved shank on it and uh, we're going to put a red butt on this with a holographic red tinsel. I'm going to coat that with some solar res. The uh, body is going to be some peacock curl and the collar is going to be some peacock blue breast. Nice little feathers, very iridescent uh, coloration to them. Really look really nice in the water. Some six odd black thread. Get her hook in the vise here. Dress her shank with the thread as usual to keep her materials all in place. Makes a stronger fly. Get in here with a little bit of our holographic red for the butt. I use this a lot. I think the original pattern might have had red floss. I'm not sure. I went red holographic on a lot of my flies and I like that. Just enough extra glint. Nice little strike trigger back there. Then I'll get some uh, solar res on that just to coat that up. Make it a little more durable. Be a lot of fish eating on this fly here, so you want to make make sure you keep them strong. And just use my light on there to cook that up. There we go. Then I'll grab some peacock hurl. I can take a generous chunk of that, probably six strands, eight strands, good enough. Have a nice thick body. Then line it up so the tips are fairly straight. Then I'll just cut them off straight, tie them in just ahead of the butt a little bit, lay them down on the shank throw a half hitch with my thread now we call for a peacock curl rope, you just wrap it around the thread I'm going to just do a little shortcut here with my Norvice, I can make short order of that and you get a nice thick body this way very durable Tie that off behind the eye. Leave a little room there to make sure you got enough room to put your collar on there. So we'll just bring in a blue breast feather. They're quite dainty here, so we'll just pull that bottom uh, material off. So we got the nice blue coloration in our hackle. Prenup Print it back, tie it in into 45 just behind the eye, cut the little tip off if you want, it's only two strands, it wouldn't matter. Now I use a spring loaded plier in there for my soft tackles, I always use this plier. And I fold my, I get a bit of a half turn, then I can fold my hackles back from the stem so when I wrap, I take one turn ahead of the other and that'll give me a nice fold. And that'll keep my hackle working in the water, creating some movement. Important you fold your hackles for wet flies. Do a whip finish behind the head. Saw that off. Bring in some solar res again. This for behind the the eye. I use a lot of solar res. It's, you can use head cement of whatever kind you like, but always cement your flies. It takes a little extra time, but it's well worth a lot easier to do that than have a fly that's falling apart and you have to retie it on. Or make sure you got a lot of these. Your buddies are going to want some, and uh, you're going to do quite well with it. Just use it on a full sinking line, whatever uh, depth the fish are holding. And feeding, it's a searching pattern. Sometimes the fish are a little moody. This may be a fly you want to pull out of the box and run past them. Uh, it's performed very, very well. It's called the Guarantee, and it's uh, 
it's about that good. So thanks to Wayne Redding and uh, all the best to everyone and thanks again for watching on the bench. Catch you again soon.